Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I am Brad Drake, and I welcome you back to my AWA save. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight the tour moves on from Milwaukee down to Chicago, Illinois, where the AWA is running the International Amphitheater. Our venue is booked. Let's head back to the main screen. Uh-oh, we got an incident between the terrorist and Nick Bockwinkle. Uh, Stormy Granzig was complaining all the time. Nick Bockwinkle said, I had about enough of your bullshit. You're buying drinks for everybody. So the terrorist is buying drinks for everybody. All right. Thank you, Captain Nick, for taking care of that issue for us. And it looks like we've got some protege work here with Slaughter and Mike Powers. And Mike Powers had a pretty interesting look there. All right, Buddy Rose, as we know, is with the WWF. We're no longer even booking him. Kevin Kelly's out injured. And Mr. Saito looks to be making a title defense in his native Japan. He is still the reigning and defending IWGP heavyweight champion. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at our card for tonight here in Chicago, Illinois, in the smoke-filled, action-packed International Amphitheater. Man, that was a great arena. When you talk great wrestling arenas, that was one of them. In our opener, Medusa Michelli is going to face Debbie Combs. The Nasty Boys are going to battle Osanowski and Peterson. Wayne the Train Bloom is going to face Alan West. Cactus Jack is going to do battle with Jerry Blackwell. Tom Zank is facing off against newcomer Manny Fernandez. Dick Slater and Bob Backlund are going to show us some technique as they wrestle. The Russians. And Sheik Adnan LKC will face the Guerrero Brothers in a six-man tag match. That'll be our semi-main event. And in our main event, here in the International Amphitheater, Big Scott Hall is going to face his former tag team partner and reigning heavyweight champion of the world, Kurt Hennig. This one is for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen. It is for the heavyweight championship of the world. Let's get to Booking. All right. Michelli and Combs in our opener. Two ladies that are easy on the eye and dangerous in the ring. There's Medusa. And there is Debbie Combs. Let's figure out who won the last match here. And Medusa won the last match. So Debbie Combs. It's going to get the win here on this one. Next, we've got the Nasty Boys versus Steve Olsonowski and DJ Peterson. That one's going to go 12 minutes. All right, we can auto name it. It's very fancy. I think the Nasties got the win the last time. Uh, they did not. Olsonowski and Peter. No, yeah, Olsonowski and Peterson got the win the last time. So the Nasties are going to go over here. And, of course, they're going to go over by cheating. Because there's no way two rookies like this are going to overcome the great veteran Steve Olsonowski and his young tag team partner, DJ Peterson, without cheating. All right. Moving right along here on our tour of power here, Wayne Bloom and Alan West. This one's also going to go 12 minutes. And we've had a pretty interesting tour here so far, putting up some decent numbers across the board, town to town. There's Alan West. A lot of mustaches on this card, a lot of mustaches. I think Alan West went over the last time. Alan West is putting a lot of work here. Yeah, Alan West went over the last time. So young Wayne Bloom, monster that he is, is going to go over this time. Cactus Jack and Jerry Blackwell. Cactus Jack actually went over our last match between these two. And Jerry Blackwell is going to go over this time. I am pretty sure most of you heard me talking about how I just finished reading 
Len Denton, The Grappler's Book. He tells a pretty interesting story in that book about uh, in the Pacific Northwest, Jerry Blackwell came in for a couple shots, and Len Denton was the booker. And Jerry Blackwell did not like the way one of his friends was being booked. So he went and snatched Len Denton by the neck after slapping him in the neck. And Denton says there's pretty much nothing he could have done if Blackwell could have escalated it. So apparently Blackwell was a pretty dangerous dude that knew how to use his size. All right, Blackwell's going to be the winner here, of course. And Blackwell is just days away from launching his own promotion here. Next, we have Tom Zank and Manny Fernandez. Another 14-minute bout. Both these men are pretty much newcomers to the AWA. And we're going to leave this one open-ended. We'll let the computer decide who wins. And we'll just keep an eye on it if things don't get out of control either way. Manny Fernandez is working a vicious heel roll for us, similar to what he did in Jim Crockett Promotions. And don't be surprised if you see him start working a few matches against a rival that would come up for him in the AWA. Wahoo McDaniel. Slater and Backlund is next here. Slater got himself in some trouble in the last show, showing up high as a kite on some dope. And because of that, he's going to lose this match, whether he wants to or not, even whether he was due to lose it or not. Bob Backlund is going to take the win. Clean, too. All right. Backlund with the W there. And now off to our semi, the Russians and LKC versus Los Guerreros. 18 minutes. And Los Guerreros are also known as the Guerrero Brothers. And of course, I still got it as a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know if my pronunciation was pretty good there or not, but I tried everybody. I tried learning Spanish self-taught with YouTube and going to the library with headphones on for like six months straight one time, and I just could not pick it up. It was too much for me. There was just too many male and female usage of words. I, I just It just did not click with me. Maybe again some other day I'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens, but uh, I struggled. All right, we plug in Eddie Guerrero here. We plug in... Sheik Adnan LKC, and we got ourselves a match. Now, I think the Russians and LKC won the last time, and they did. So we're going to have Chavo go over here and get the win for his team. And in our main event, an exciting main event, Hall versus Hennig, this has been outstanding around the loop. It's been a lot of fun. This is this has been a great main event. Bachwinkle and Hennig, or I'm sorry, Hennig chasing Bachwinkle was solid, but this one's pretty darn good too. We're putting up some really good numbers. All right, there's Kurt Hennig. I'm sorry, Scott Hall, and here is Kurt Hennig. And we're gonna have Kurt Hennig go over here, and he's gonna do it by cheating, of course. He was a nasty heel, Kurt Hennig. A real nasty heel. Wow, just what a star-studded main event here. All right, somebody's being used too much. Let's see who it is. Greg Gagne has too much to do. I'm sorry, Greggy. We'll let your dad take over here. Just enjoy that television title. <laughs> All right, which it is Saturday here in the game, Saturday night. So the telev television... Uh, recording has already showed here, so it's going to be recognized in all the wrestling world now that Greg Gagne is the first world television champion of the AWA. Let's go ahead and start the show, everybody. And we got some red text of doom, which I don't understand. Both these ladies have been working a while here. Debbie Combs gets the win. Of course, the Nasties, just as we predicted, get the win. This gets a nice 60 overall. Very well done. So our usually, usual takeaways here, a uh, lot of bonus too. 
All right, <laughs> Bloom and West get a brutal 31 here. Red text of doom, understandably so, but we're getting these boys some experience. All right, 67 for Cactus Jack and Jerry Blackwell. Jerry Blackwell, of course, gets the win here. Fernandez and Zank. Fernandez gets the win again with that dreaded flying burrito. 74-73. They get a 75 overall. Nice match. Real nice match. Whoa! Slater and Backlund with an 89 overall. Good stuff. Really good stuff here. We probably have bonus city here, and we do. Well done. Excellent. Bobby, Bobby B gets the win. And, hey, nice score here, too. The Russians and LKC versus the Guerrero brothers get us an 82 overall. Well done. And, of course, the takeaway's got to be the knocks on the Russians and Eddie. Yeah, and there's actually not too many knocks here. We only got two. Terrific. Whoa, look at that main event score. 88 overall. Rock solid. Kurt Hennig wins by using the ropes. I would expect nothing less from Kurt Hennig. Very nice main event. Very nice score. Very nice show for Chicago in a very nice arena. Everybody, things just look very nice right now. Let's go ahead and finish up the show. And let's make a speech. We got to point out Dick Slater and Bobby B. They put on some good batcher. Ah, we can't point out. Can't point out Dick Slater because we're mad at him because of the drug stuff. No drugs, Dick. No drugs. We are going to point out Scott Hall, and we're going to point out Kurt Hennig. Great performance. Great performance. And Bobby B gets a great performance, too. Because those were all three great performances. All right, Hennig's pleased. Backlund's pleased. And Scott Hall is pleased. Excellent. Let's go back to our tour. And we have one more show in 1988 here, everybody. One more show. We're traveling down to Indianapolis for our final show in 1987. It's pretty exciting. As I've talked before, we got some really cool stuff planned for 1988, bringing back three major shows. And then we're also going to introduce the Team Challenge Series. Not entirely certain how I'm going to do it yet, but I do know that we're going to do it. All right, let's see what's going on here in the wrestling world. Yeah, because Jim Crock Promotions in 1987 was really going to have anti-All Japan signs. Come on. Nobody gave a shit about that stuff back then. Joey Jackson and Chris Colt have won the Pacific Northwest Tag Team title. Cool. Windy City Show broadcast. Uh, what else we got going on here? I don't see anything else that's really catching the eye too much here. Look at that. Paul Heyman wants a pay request, and so does Masa Saito. So we break out the old notepad here. And make sure to check. All right. Make a note. And let's take a look at our incoming here. We got 1.9 million viewers for Championship Wrestling on ESPN. Terrific. We are getting some exposure. And I'm telling you, folks, the AWA is on the up. We have turned this ship around, and we are doing well. Let's take a look at our finances just for the heck of it. Wow. We beat ticket sales already for last month. We got one more show left here. Merchandise sales are up. Sponsorship continues to be down. I don't quite understand why. It could be the market, the economy environment, that kind of stuff. That's probably the case for us here. And we're having an impressive month here. A really impressive month. One more show left, everybody. All right, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for the last show of 1987. If you haven't done so already, please give us a like, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. 
In case you are new to the channel, and a lot of you are, we have new videos every single day. Give us that subscription and you'll find out when our videos become available. Also, facebook.com slash group slash 1987 Superbod. Join us in conversation about your save. Last but not least, if you would like version 7.0, go to branddrake.net, drop me a line, and I will send you a link that will take you to the database and the picture pack. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.